Hey guys, it's Ashley and I regret putting this dress on so much because now I'm cold. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my February reading plans. So February is obviously the month of Valentine's Day or Galentine's Day, whichever one you like to celebrate. It is obviously the month that is the most associated with love. And so I decided to kind of theme my TBR, which is kind of cliche now that I'm thinking about it, but I decided to theme it around love and love stories and that kind of thing. So this month I have a couple of books I want to share with you that I'm hoping that I can get to. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, the first of which, I'm already lying here, the first of which is not actually a book. This is just something I'm very, very excited for. It is technically a book. It's a movie. You probably already know what movie it is. It's P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han. But the movie! It comes out on February 12th, so it is very, very soon, very soon coming. And I am extremely excited for this because Jordan Fisher is in the movie and I want to see him so bad. Granted, do I remember a lot about this book? No, but uh, I'm excited for it anyway. Big thank you to Simon Teen for sending me a copy of the movie cover version of P.S. I Still Love You. They also sent me a bunch of like candy and a scrunchie. I already ate the candy and the scrunchie is across my room. So I'm not gonna show you that, but thank you, thank you, thank you, because I love it and I'm so excited for the movie. The next book that I have was one that I said I was anticipating on my 2020 releases list and it is one that actually just arrived at my house today, literally a couple hours before I filmed this video. So I'm very happy that I was outside and grabbed it when I saw it down at the end of my road. And that is Of Curses and Kisses by Sandhya Menon. This book doesn't actually come out for another couple of days. I don't think. But Simon Teen was very, very gracious to send me this book. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So from what I know about this book, it is a Beauty and the Beast retelling, I believe. Uh, we follow these two characters who are clearly on the front of the book right there. Um, this is Jaya and this is Grey. So Jaya is a princess and Grey's family, the Emersons, um, they step up to claim their centuries old feud and they target Jaya's little sister. So Jaya is like trying to exact her revenge and she finds out that she's going to be attending the same elite boarding school that Grey attends. And so she decides to make him fall in love with her only to break his heart. Um, but then she kind of feels something for him and is like, wait, my enemy could not be my, my friend, right? Right? And then we also follow Grey, like I said, on the other hand, who is kind of unsocial. <laughs> um, there's this ancient curse that was placed on him a while ago, and he knows that he's doomed when he reaches 18. I don't know exactly what that means, but I'm excited to find out. And he's kind of been like isolated in this, you know, boarding school academy until Jaya bursts into his life. There is, I'm hoping, a very beautiful romance, and I'm so excited to read about it because, as I mentioned before, boarding schools are are my thing. I love boarding school stories, so I'm so excited to pick this one up. So one book that's on my shelf that I want to read this month is one that probably will surprise you, unless you watched the books that I will get to this year, then it won't. But that book is Emma by Jane Austen. Some of you are probably thinking, why would you not read Pride and Prejudice this month if you're going for love stories? And that is because I'm pretty sure there is a new film version of Emma coming out, and I figured if I read it now, I could kind of watch that. So this is why. I literally don't really know what this is about other than that I think she's like a matchmaker or she wants to be a matchmaker and so she tries to hook up two of the people in her life or something. Clueless is kind of based off of this so that's as much as I know about this story and we'll see if I can get through it without wanting to stop. The next physical book that I have right here that I can show you that I would really love to get to this month is one that was also sent to me but this one was by Get Underlined or Penguin Random House, and that is Date Me Bryson Keller by Kevin Van Wy. I had never really heard of this story until they sent it to me, and I was like, ah, oh, I am so ready for this. Basically, there's this dare in Fairville Academy where every week Bryson Keller has to date somebody new, and the first person to ask him out on Monday morning is that person that he dates that week. And so one day there's a boy who asks him out and Bryson says yes. Kind of date and we see what happens. Apparently this is supposed to be based off of a 90s rom-com or it's supposed to read kind of like a rom-com and I'm so excited because I love rom-coms. And then I have two more books that I want to talk about that I am really hoping to get to this month that are not physically in my hands that I can like show you 
but I can put them right here. So the first of which is Amy and Roger's Epic Detour by Morgan Matson, which is a book that I have yet to get to yet. And I am really looking forward to it because it's one of the Morgan Matson books that I haven't actually read. I think I'm missing this one and Second Chance Summer, but Second Chance Summer is supposed to be really fucking sad. So we're not gonna read that one this month. Um, so this was my next choice. Also, I've been wanting to read this book because it's about a road trip and I've love road trips. I love traveling. So I've been wanting to read this book. Oh, actually, I have two more books now after this that I want to talk about that I'm hopefully going to get to. And I have so many books on this list this month because these are all like I said, romances. So usually I can read those pretty quickly. And I'm hoping that that's the case this month so I can get through a lot of books. We will see. But anyway, the next book that I am hoping to get to and will get to because I will read this book if it kills me is one that has been so, so hyped on booktube recently, or at least within the past year. And that is Red, White and Royal Blue by somebody. I didn't do my research beforehand. I don't know who writes this book. Somebody named Casey, maybe? Casey McQuinston. I was right, a Casey. Like I said, this book has been so freaking hyped. People that I know have reread this book like eight times already. And I need to know what all of this hype is about. So this is gonna be on my list this month. It's probably going to be the fastest read that I've ever read a book because I know I'm going to absolutely fall in love with this. From what I know, it's about this like, it's about royalty, I think, and like, you know, a gay romance, and I'm here for it. And then the last book that I'm going to read, I don't think it really fits in with the theme of the books this month, but it is the one that I talked about in my January wrap up. If you've watched that video, these should be going up on the same day. But that is Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens, which is a book that I am going to be reading with my mom this month because she's wanting to get into more books. And we read a book last month and now we're going to read this book this month. I truly don't know what this book is about. I just know that it's highly rated and it was one of the books in Reese Witherspoon's book club. And that's all I needed to hear to make this the book that my mom and I are going to read. Maybe if me and my mom do this throughout the whole year, I can make a video with her at the end of the year and we can like rate the books that we read throughout the year as like our favorite to like our least favorite video idea. I'm so excited. I'm going to tell her that when she gets home. So I believe those are all of the books that I had on my list that I want to read this month. I know that by the time this video is going up, it's already like February 7th, I think. I've read nothing so far, so I'm really hoping to get to some of them soon. I'm going to try to start one of these today hopefully. One of the reasons that I haven't been reading as much lately is because I'm about to start a new job, which I'm really excited for. And also I might be playing a totally different book that I want to write, which is not good because I uh, don't need to be thinking about that while I am trying to start a new job. So if you're feeling it, please let me know what books that you are planning on reading in February down below. Are you going like the romancy love sort of route or are you just reading whatever you know you're in the mood for this month? Are you even into romancy love books or not? Let me know. So guys, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you later. Goodbye!